all right welcome back to the garage it's been a while since i did anything with the uh, royal enfield i mean i've been riding a lot but i haven't made any any mods lately but um i got about five thousand kilometers on it now and uh i'm gonna change the chain i know it's it's very early it's probably only one third into its life but I like the idea of uh, a heavy duty chain. And uh, I found this one here that I'll show you. Um, this seems to be popular with the Royal Enfield crew. And uh, I found this on Hickox.com, Great Britain. Uh, it's a DID, or did, I don't know how they want to say that. But. Uh, this claim to fame for this chain is a direct energy transfer and uh, X-ring solid bushing and it's also gold on the outside which kind of pops I like that but really the main thing of course is you want a heavy-duty chain that doesn't stretch and uh, you normally don't think of change as stretching, but they, they do. They stretch uh, over time, and they also stretch under heavy acceleration. I'll go ahead and open it up and see what we have. say my, my first impression is very beefy even without a side-by-side -side comparison that the old chain's still on the bike and I'll, I'll do a side-by-side -side. but I can tell right away this is a really good looking chain and uh, this is the 525VX3 is the part number and this is 100 links 100 pits chain and here is the master link master link comes with grease and uh, o-rings with it and I believe the, the original equipment chain uh, doesn't have a master link and that that's kind of normal for new bikes these days so I'm just going to, I'm not going to use it as a spare. I'm just going to cut it off with the angle grinder and then uh, see how we can get the new one on. So a mistake was made. <laughs> I um, <clears throat> I thought I had a chain breaker and a and a rivet smasher, but uh, I was mistaken. So the the new chain does come with uh, a press in link and with rivets, which is the preferred method, so that the link has the same strength as the rest of the links but as an option it does come with also a clip-on master link uh, which I'm gonna have to use because I'm gonna order the tool but it's not gonna get here in time and I need to go to Manila on Monday in two days so I'm 
hoping that this is going to work out. Um, yeah, from what I hear, that the, I mean, a clip clip on is, yeah, according to them, you know, it, it's not as strong, and it probably isn't. But the clip on master links have been powering through everything since day one. So, uh, especially this spike here, I don't think we're going to be generating so much power that it's going to uh, have any difficulty with a clip on master link. And uh, I need to check to make sure the spare that I bought, you know, a few months ago will work with this chain as well. So what I've been doing is I cut the chain in two and then cut uh, part of the link off. I'm going to attach the new chain to the link and just feed it through so I don't have to take off the sprocket cover. There's two sets of links. One is the, the press on rivet type and this is the clip on but they both come with grease and uh, four o-rings use a caliper here to just kind of get a rough idea of, of how even that I pressed that top link in if I can Specced at 19. And I'm just crooked on there. Let's say 1920. Same thing here, just about maybe a little less than 1910 there. In the middle. the same. I'm going to press the, uh, the clip on, see what it looks like. on looks like it's seated go ahead and uh, <clears throat> make my adjustments and we're gonna go for a ride later today and and test it out see what happens 